What's up guys, Click Fiend here. Now, how many times have you come back and you're like, oh my god, what happened here? It's peeled. Why did it happen? Why does this happen? Well, this is due to peel forces and um, we're going to talk about that next. The supports that you put on the sides, in my opinion, should be thicker than the other supports because they hit the pressures of the FEP first. So, um... It's like a it's like a game. You either have more fat supports or more thin supports, but you want slightly fatter supports, and definitely you want them contacting the actual model more than in the center. So um, let's say if you've got a point, you don't want the point to be too thin on the edges because as the peel force hits it, it's got more chance of separating from the model and failing because the base layer actually went on fine. The other stuff peeled off and I'm not sure exactly when but I can see it kind of snapped in a few places due to the pressure of lifting up. Anyway, could go to a diagram and chat about it. Right, so I've made this little diagram to kind of represent what's going on for those of you who don't understand. Um, I don't think I understood most of this before but I've done this a little illustration to kind of show you what's going on. So essentially you've got this build plate here which is your build plate and as that goes down into the resin and the UV light hits it, what's happening is that the area with your design, which is represented here on the top, this is the build plate, is essentially curing as the UV light's hitting it. And um, essentially, as it finishes, this light turns off, as you see here, as the diagram, as it starts to lift off, the FEP remains stuck momentarily to where your design is. It stays stuck to the cured resin, essentially. And this circle is essentially the part that is still stuck to the FEP. All of the red stuff here is already free. And essentially, all of the, this ring is representing the forces that are tearing it off. Imagine you kind of stuck a bit of plastic or some sellotape to a, a window and you're pulling it off. This is the part that hasn't been pulled off yet. It's still stuck on there. And the rest is free. So all of the areas on the edges here are where extra forces are basically happening on your resin. So um, you want to make the supports on these areas much thicker. So I've done, shown you by, uh, if I show you that, basically as it carries on, you'll see what happens. It goes smaller, 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 as it becomes unstuck to the build plate and eventually slaps down, which is the pop. So this, this the FEP coming unstuck from your build plate and hitting the, the bottom is what you're hearing as a pop that's the, what, what's remaining on your um, build plate. So obviously, if the forces were too great, some of that stuff's gonna get ripped off there and it's gonna get ripped off there. So if I was you, I would just make the, the sports on the edges thicker until you can fine tune it a bit. So if I was you, get used to essentially learning where to put big supports and little supports and then you can practice making fat supports that get thin right near the top or you know progressively get thinner or angled thinner, but essentially, What's happening is that as the, the FEP is coming loose off the, or coming unstuck off your build plate, it's essentially tearing off the build plate. So it's tearing there, it's tearing there, it's tearing there, and it's tearing there. However, because this is a solid area, it's gonna be all right. But these are the really tiny supports in here, so they're likely to tear off, basically. And uh, they undergo the most pressure. So if I was you, I would make those put a fat one there and a fat one there. The thinner ones are protected by the fat ones and then most likely you'll be all right. But if you don't do that, then that's what can happen. It can just essentially tear your thin supports off the edges and progressively ruin your model more and more and more. Or completely ruin it because once the edges are gone, it's just gonna carry on biting in and tearing the whole thing off. So here I've got a big close up of it just to show you again what's happening in case you didn't catch it the first time. So your plate goes down, UV light comes on, cures the layer here, which instantly becomes stuck to the FAP. And then as it becomes to lift, this area is still stuck to the FAP. So as the, or stuck to the build plate. So as the build plate rises, it takes the FAP with it, which is shown here like that. So this is the FAP, the blue thing here. So as it's stuck to this, I've shown it here to make it obvious. This is where the peel forces are. They come in this way and this way and obviously kind of lengthways as well. Essentially like a circle that en en encompass your object. So the 
essentially all the edges and circumference of your model are basically going to get hit by those peel forces. So hit the bigger supports around the area and then kind of try and fine tune it as you go along. And then obviously you've got the pop when the, when the FEP hits the, um, the bottom of the tray. All right, I hope that video has helped you out. Catch you later. If you want any more videos like this, subscribe. So I thought I'd just play the animation for you at the end, uh, just so that you can see it kind of happening. So it goes down, UV light hits it, starts curing, sticks to the build plate, lifts up, FEP stays stuck to it, and it kind of pops off, and then um, that's what you get basically. So um, that's why these areas might break off. So it's worth making these areas bigger. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.